Ice Fall. Uh, if you just made it onto the train to get to the airport to head to Iceland, really did not think that a 7.10 flight would mean a 3 a.m. wake up. Don't know why, because it's pretty obvious, but I'm on the train now. And yeah. Let's go to Iceland. The weather was absolutely terrible yesterday, but perfect today. And uh, yeah, heading to the Golden Triangle today, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I had, I had set myself up for it to be raining for the next week or so, but it's really turning it up today. So I haven't even made it like 300, 400 meters down the road. And We've already got this behind us. So I feel like today is actually going to be a pretty pretty long day with the camera out, which is a good thing. Also, sick beanie, hey? This is the vehicle that I'm working with, and it is very, very weird trying to drive stick on the right-hand side. I also went... One of the only things I did yesterday was go to some... Um, it was basically just a swimming pool, but had a nice big spa, and... And now I've got to uh, dry my bathers in the car on the front. But um, I'm at Aksarafoss now. Can't remember what it is, but a lot of people have stopped here, and I'm pretty sure it's a waterfall. But I know that I definitely had it on my list of things to do. So in the past, when I've done this, I've had a lot of trouble with taking photos. Well, not taking photos, but taking photos while I'm recording. So I'll stop, start filming something, forget to take photos, or like what happened this morning, I'll take some photos, but I won't take any footage. And I'm gonna have a fucking sick day. So I thought that valley that I just walked through was actually really nice, but it turns out that loads of people have actually been murdered here. Not murdered, executed here. Like hung, drowned, stoned. Um, I think people got burned as well, actually. So yeah, that's not not the nicest valley to be walking through if you were Nordic about 1,200 years ago. Right now, it is beautiful though, and I'm almost at the waterfall, so stay posted. I don't know how this happened, but I managed to get the waterfall all to myself. And it is absolutely gorgeous, but this still isn't even one of the gold climbs, so looking forward to actually getting to go there. Two things that I've learnt now that I have the Gorilla Pod. A, I still take better photos than whoever I give my camera to. B, as soon as you set up a tripod, everybody gets out of your way. Which is good if you want the perfect shot. completely forgot about this spot but I'm um, glad I came over here so this behind me where this rock is and the flag and all this stuff here is um, the oldest standing parliament in the world so I think it's been here since about 900 AD and um, yeah it's the longest sort of continually running parliament in the entire world the uh, residents here are the Prime Minister's residence that's what it's called which is a real surprise but the Prime Minister actually died there in um, 1970, so it's probably in the um, cemetery just behind it. Definitely didn't think that this would still be a functional church, but... It is? Apparently Iceland has super clean water, so I'm going to test that theory with the sack out of my camel pack, because I don't have a water bottle and I'm not paying for water. Well, it's supposedly so clean. The 
water has been acquired. I think my hands are going to fall off from frostbite now. My lunch button for the day. Pulled up at the place to myself, eating these sandwiches. Brown bread, Thousand Island dressing, mushrooms and spinach. Not really what I was going to go for, but the lack of tofu in uh, Icelandic supermarkets left me desperate. Now this, my friends, is why I came to Iceland. I don't even know if you can see that properly, but holy shit. This is phenomenal. So muddy that basically the last 10 minutes or so I've just been walking on paths that people have had to make themselves like properly through the shrubs just because you can't actually use the path on the ground anymore. So I thought that last section was the waterfalls and honestly I was very underwhelmed by what I saw but here they are. Turns out I got diddled by the waterfall twice and it does actually go further than this, so onwards and upwards. So I uh, made it to Brewer Foss Brewer Foss Falls. It was a huge hike, but pretty happy, pretty happy with the result. Probably took God, I don't even know how long it took to get here, but Pretty, pretty special. So I've actually ended up dying literally as I finished filming up at the waterfall. But uh, the walk down was actually a lot more pleasant because I got to enjoy it. I wasn't worrying about how far it was until I got there. So it was just sort of a nice leisurely stroll. And I just got back to the car and I swore really loudly because I thought that I had broken the, um, the packaging for the, the charger. Because I've just came in, found that I did actually pack my camera charger. And hopefully, I'll be able to get Monani box back for this bad boy. This stinks. got to pat some horses which I'm absolutely stoked about because they look beautiful and I knew that I was going to do it this trip but I didn't know that I was going to be able to do it this early so I was very happy to get that done. Um, now at Gullfoss waterfall but I'm probably just going to go till like 11 o'clock tonight because there's so much stuff that I need to see today while I'm still around Reykjavik. There's literally a full rainbow here right now. Football golf, which I have absolutely no idea what it is, but I'm pretty sure it just involves kicking a football, a soccer ball, up there, playing golf with it. Know what's going on with this eyes of heaven? So 
definitely not allowed to be where I am at the moment, but to get a view of this waterfall behind me, so go off the road, jump the fence, and here we are. So this is going to be my last waterfall for the day, but had a really, really awesome day. I thought it was going to rain, like I said before, the whole whole time I was here, but to finish off with a view like this, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. So a little bit disappointed I didn't get to high fast, but might try and go there in the morning and see if the road's closed still, so I will say this though, Iceland's one of those countries where if you're born somewhere completely random and then you ended up here, you could potentially think that you're in outer space. Like the landscape is just that bizarre. It's kind of fitting that this song has come on. So this is some big volcanic crater that's in the middle of nowhere. But it's actually really cool and it will definitely be my last stop of the day because it's 9.30. Though well, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's still crystal clear blue skies, but <coughs> probably got another hour drive back to the um, back to the hostel and then time for bed because I'm buggered. So, 13 hours later, I have made it back to a hostel, not the same one because the price was like double the price of this one and I only booked one night at the last one, but I'm here, it's 11 o'clock and it's still this light outside. I've got a lot of shit to do tonight, so it's good that it'd be like, so keep me up, but if I was trying to go to sleep and when I'm camping for the next week, that might be a bit of a problem. So, I'm going to sign off now. I will see you tomorrow.